will continue for this video series. So this is second part, part two. Install uh, grid infrastructure. The last time we already finished all of the pre-task uh, required for installation. By now, we can install it. Today's task, if you here, so we can see the rack system. So we are going to install this this two bar ESM1 grid hall. This belongs to the grid infrastructure. We install from node one because we already set up SSH connection. Installation on node one will be directly installed on node two, three, four. So before this is it is the two separate installation for ASM the great home. By now it's just a one shot. Uh, we're on the task two here, right? Infrastructure. And before we install this one, we have to install the infrastructure first. The software we're using, this is the one. The high level, so the summary for this one is first, copy software to the grid home. This is a very, very important thing. The software we download is the grid home software. You have to copy this one to the grid home to do it. Before you probably install a lot of Oracle software, you put in the summer, right? When you install, you give the pass and it be installed according to where you put your pass for your work at home. But this one is different. Copy this one to the grid home first. And then the things will be is, uh, say, when do installation we're using the grid setup but it can check the error for you there's a steps away the way if I can, if you have the error you gotta fix it restart again instead of doing that way there's another way work will provide you can run in this script no matter how many times you want to run it it's run when you're running it if there's error and then you know what it is, you fix it, run it again until there's no error. Instead of you directly running this one. So this is the way I, what I'm doing. I running these files any times when they identify the issue and find a solution for it, continue to finish until some e error can be ignored. And then I'm running grid setup. Here is the task details we're dealing with. The first one I remember, I just uh, like I said, we're running the script. The syntax of running it is say pre CRS inst put for node there. And then following is the issue and the solution as well. For the first one, this one. Um, this one actually is the from Oracle. It, uh, this error is a bug, it can be ignored, it does not really affect anything. So even a fail is fine. When we run in the real setup, it will appear again, but it not stop you to do the installation. So this is fine. The second one is, is the demo. This demo is not running, uh, it's, 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 it's not configured and running. So this, I did a lot of diagnosis on it. Finally, I found a solution just simple and easy. Just to stop it and disable it. Because you said configure and run, right? You stop it, can be configured, it's not running. Then you're going to by bypass this issue. The third one, probably is the most people running into is uh, network issue they filled with PRVG 1172 11067 and 11095 conflict on the node for the IP address 
So this issue, if you diagnose it, you can find a lot of people have the same issue, but what is the solution for it? I did a lot of diagnosis. Finally, I found an IP address related to only two of them. All of them issue on four node is related to two IP address. So there's a patch. Oracle say there's a bug. This bug is a patch. You can apply the patch on your source database, which is old one, and then rewrite. They said that we solve the issue, but I don't really don't want to touch the old system anymore. The reason is to, if something happening, I have to spend more time on this to fix it. So I decided not doing this way. Another solution is very simple. So I talked to network team just to disable these two. When disable, it is fine. Another issue I have is to just like mentioned before is so this a two group. I thought I can bypass it because the university only asked me to use Oracle instead of both great. So I say oh, fine, I probably don't need this uh, ASM DBA, ASM admit, but actually it's cannot bypass it. It's done me doing it. So simple just to create it. The next one will be the package. This is where, because remember, we already running the uh, pre-installation script from Oracle. It's supposed to be the install all of them, but it seems not. But you have to manually to do it. But for first one, GCC plus, what I did is, yum install GCC first. The second, yeah, I'm mean, install GCC plus, but actually, so when you do it, probably just running this one uh, instead of running both. The next one you got to find it. That really is the next one is generally is not available somewhere on the uh, Oracle or even on the setup uh, Linux. And then this is your URL. You can get it from there when you download it. Yum local install this file name going to install it. Another package is the, this package. This package actually is the really where really is come waste uh, the software in 1930 is there, but it still looks like a pre-installation didn't do anything with it. What you have to do is you just do the same thing. You find this file, where's the location, and then running this local install for it. But you got to do all the patching things, install as a root on all of the four node one by one. When the package is passed, in, generally we are ready to install configure. This is a great infrastructure for a cluster. The way you're doing it. Go to grid home, running grid setup.sh on the screen, just like before I did probably many times on installation. First one, we chose the workable grid infrastructure for a new cluster, not the others. The second screen, we configure workable standalone cluster, right? This is a standalone one. The third one, they ask you, actually ask you to enter one uh, cluster name. You can pick up anything, it doesn't matter. And then they want to know the, what is the scan name you're using, or using a rack scan name, the scan name. The, when you're done this one, the next screen will be ask you your node, how many nodes that you have to, right? have to use to in your installation, but now only one of them, and then you click on add, and the other node. You need to provide for each of them, provide two things. One's public host name, another one your VIP name. When you add this information there, uh, click on OK. 
it will pick up one. Do this for node 3 and node 4. When you're down this four node, you will see a screen like this. Oracle installer is going to configure to VIP. Uh, later, I will show you another arrow running to. When we click on OK, what we got is the issue. This side is node 1 VIP. It's already signed to another system on the network. What the problem is? Actually, it's the, what we did is the OST. As the network team did is because they are part the public address to this server. They also uh, assigned VIP to this node too. Yeah. But what happening is the working installer actually is going to configure the VIP, which is the visual IP to do it. So before installation, you got to check this VIP for the visual VIP should not be pingable. But if you can ping it, you got this issue. So I did it, I ping it, I did find I can ping this visual VIP. So solution of course is very easy is to take the VIP configure a bank of the box. That's what network did. And we depend on the workload. Uh, itself to do the job. So by now, so when we solve the VIP issues, and then the next one they're going to check. First, they ask you for the Oracle password and the OS password. You put in this one, and then click on the next one. They're going to say SSH connectivity is okay because we already did it. And then everything set up to go. So next one, pick up the interface name. The interface name you got to pick up is say ASM private. Do not use public. And what happening is ASM private. Which do you remember the first diagram I show you is that there is connection, private connection between the node that is used for ASM private. Public one, so you that is the host. Uh, defined on the DNS or in a host file. Right? You only need to pick up this. If it's a public one, the subnet should be matched in the Team Zero interface. How to get the interface name? You on the server side, you can type if configured dash a. It go. It, it is going to give you all the interface name, and you check the Team Zero to see. It is to match your subnet or not. If it's match, you pick up this one. Same thing for your interface. Another one is ASM private. The private should be on private subnet. If you find this one match, you pick it up. And then this, uh, we're talking about OCR, is a worker cluster register. Uh, and then they ask you what you want to use. We use the ASM for sure. There are several things uh, we don't need to pick up it. A great infrastructure management repository. This one I talked to you in the last one video. Uh, this one actually is, a, is optional now. It's in 19C. Start from 19C. It's optional. You really don't need it to uh, do this one, but if you want to, that's fine. But you have to create, say, they probably ask you, hey, create another uh, ASM uh, disk group or another something. So I thought people do not do it. I also ask a worker why, is there some issue? Why it became optional? I got no answer, so I chose no for it. And then you probably need some ASM disk groups, so you can choose to date it to one. You really the people doing it, right? But when I found it is uh, when this is a pop-up window is a default window, they show your date because they think the date is the probably is the one you're going to use. But actually so you didn't find any this group here. In that case you click on the change discovery path and put in the discovery this path here I when we create ASM for last video, 
we know where it's location, right? When you change it, click on OK. You can see all of this here. And then we're not going to use the date uh, for the installation for OCR. We're using OCR vote as the disk group name. You can use anything you want. But you pick up, pick up this one, configure for vote, and then you click Next. When this one's done, this actually you say is for ASM management, right? the password for uh, sys DBA or sys and sys ASM, you, I use the same password for them, pick up anything you want. Another one is the features for, uh, you know, it's called IPMI. Uh, this one is to, to pick up, no, do not install it. Interest manager, so we really don't want to do this now because uh, you probably have the cloud control, you can do it later. Here is the place to find the groups. Uh, we predefined one, we're using ASMDBA. And then mm, if it's not, they'll say, okay, something wrong. That's what happening. So there's some warning, you click on. Are uh, you sure you want to continue? Click on yes. Hey, usually, this is the old Oracle base. You can define, I define its location for Oracle base. This said is something inside already. Do you want to continue? Click yes. Here's uh, the next one. It's going to check any issues on your server side. We already did all of them, right? And then they ask you, say, if you have root, you can put in root, they can fix the Mac for you. If you're not, you can use a pseudo. We don't want to do anything because we already did it, one thing. The second is, if something happening, we can do it manually. That's why I do not pick up anything. The next window, it will check everything as we indicated. We ignore this guy, right? DVSHM. So this work will set us back, ignore it, it not stop you to do the installation. So we click on the ignore all and then continue for it. It's a warning sign, click on it. yes, continue. Now you got the whole page for summer page. In the summer page, you can check everything's right or not, note everything is fine. You want to save it to responsive file, you can do it the next time the without using this GOI. So we click on install. When I run install, probably about uh, less than one hour. So be done. And then a pop up window say ask you running the root SH to other on the four node. The sequence of running it uh, uh, it is important. And then what you have to do is you're running this two of them on node one only, which node? That is the node you start your installation. You will do it there. When you finish this boss, you can parallel running here. Two, three, four, you can run in the same types, the first one, and just wait for and for the next one. When this one finish, you really do not have issue at all. If you're running into some issue, you got some really trouble dealing with the configuration by root is not working. By now, we do not have any issue at all. Now, what you can see is uh, it finished, it set successfully, and then you click on close. Here is comes the post task. When you finish the installation, what are you going to do? The first, modify this file. This file is generally is uh, you put in the ASM there, and then when you log in, type or a env, it will automatically configure the environment for you to pump to the grid home. Right? A check listeners. A check listeners. I find is the ASM is up, scan is up. This is local listener, right? Three of them. This one is fine. This one is fine. This one is also fine. But this one. Only have local listener. What they're missing is ASM uh, listener, right? But scan is over three of them. It doesn't matter. So and then 
this one should have the SM. So I checked what's the problem. The SSM is not up. It is not up. So I tried to manually start it up. It doesn't work. Got some errors. So I tried to manually, I mean on server side using SRV CTL to start SM listener, I got an issue too. And then I'm really looking for what's the issue. Actually, here is the what workers did. What they did is even you have configured four node, but in respect of the number of nodes in the cluster, only three the ASM instance will be created. This is what workload did. Only the query three of them. But if I'm number four, what you're going to do the two command and do it. Modify ASM count four and then modify ASM count O. When you've done this one, actually, your number four is already up, but I just to try to see, do it again. I started node four, right, SM. I got, okay, the resource is already running. And then we check the CMO, we find ASSM number four is up. Check the listener, ASM listener is up too. So basically, by now, we finished the installation. Uh, for the grid. Uh, the next time we are going to talk about the install the work home. See you later.